Talamoana YouTube. What is up, guys? Welcome, welcome. Today, we are actually going to be exploring the temple with this new incursion league from present day. As you can see, I'm actually already in, or I just, I just entered this temple area. Um, so I'm kind of wanting to show you guys what all it entails whenever you do come in present day. What is this? You have increased quantity of items found. We'll figure that out in a second. This is only the second time I've ever actually ran this temple um, in the present day. So I'm kind of excited about it. Something I will say that I was in fact able to connect all of the rooms. So I'm super, super excited about this. We're going to kind of go through here real quick and show you what each room is, is going to contain. Um, so it looks like we do have the treasury, which contains chests full of currency items. I'm excited about nothing with these excuse me three uh reduces max player or player maximum res throughout the temple that's gonna be that's gonna be a little bit rough um augments the omnitech with fire i'm kind of i'm kind of curious about that one uh contains chests full of items that's pretty pretty exciting uh contains chests full of jewelry yes and contains chests full of jewel gems yes i'm so excited and this one's nothing now this is one i'm particularly particularly excited about um, to give a try what this one says is allows you to sacrifice a unique item now i went ahead and i knew i had a room like this i went ahead and brought two different unique items with me to give, give it a test right now it's a tier one um i'm not really sure if you can if you can sacrifice more than one item or if it's as many as you want so that's why i went ahead and brought two um and one of them is going to be the axe i'll show you guys in a second another one's a a jewel so i'm kind of i'm kind of curious as to whether or not you get the same one from my understanding i believe a tier one it's just any random unique tier two i believe it's an incursion specific unique you get um and a tier three i believe it's like a unique of the same type so from my understanding i don't know if it's true or not but you might actually be able to get a headhunter this way so who knows we'll, we'll test that out once we get to tier three um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick. I am bringing a limb split with me axe Who knows if I can get another axe or I don't know and also bringing con conquerors potency as the uh, the jewel I'm gonna go ahead and bring um, And we'll see if I can only do one of them I'll probably just pick the axe because it's the biggest and probably get rid of it for something smaller. I don't know um, And yeah guys, so we're gonna, without further ado I've never been to the apex the top is where the big boss li lies lives um, we're going to go ahead and explore that as well and see what that entails. Right now, we are going to find the temple. You currently spawn when you first unlock this area or you know you start your incursion or whatever. Um, you actually have to find the temple first. You start off in the jungle outside of it. Now, it's not really difficult to find. It is, it is pretty linear, as you're going to see here. I do have my, uh, my Nagamahu, Nagamatu's flame. I think I'm getting better at pronouncing it. Um, so you're clearing out some of the some of the exterior and there it is boom easy peasy Like I said, it's pretty linear in that aspect of it I don't really understand why that that parts in there, but I guess I don't really mind it too much Go ahead and activate our crit real quick Wait, okay Now guys remember whenever you're you're going through during the present day in these temples whatever art uh, architect that you left alive during your your 11 incursion runs because you do have to run the incursions 11 times in order to unlock the present day version of the temple um, whatever architect you let you do leave alive they will be alive here in the present day you got to face them and, and kill them it's really not too difficult but watch as i say that uh, knock on wood <laughs> all right so we're gonna go ahead just go in through and kill all of these and these type of excursions, I don't generally like to leave stones unturned. I like to kill all of these things. I'm that guy. Once I start doing a lot more temples, then it'll probably change. But it's still exciting. It's still new. It's still fresh. Does anyone else do that out there? Let me know in the comments. Um, plus, it's just so satisfying. I absolutely love this axe. Especially with the molten burst that comes out. It just makes it... It makes it really cool looking. The, the fire plosions that come out upon blowing up and it not even it didn't even have to be a crit it's just a chance to hit i think it's what 20 percent chance every time you land a hit which with a cyclone is is pretty often all right so we're going to be going into our first room i believe this is the treasure room 
we're actually going to go back and hit the unique room after we clear this one, I think. Because I want to hurry up and get rid of the uh, uniques I have on me at the moment. Um, and see, you know, what the what, what it is that we get from them um, sooner than later. Because we do have a lot of rooms that we're going to be able to get a lot of rewards from. And I'm not trying to have, you know, a big old axe taking up spots there. Uh, we'll take some amulets for now. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. We got some some good some good currency here. I've been needing some jeweler's orbs too. I've not gotten to maps yet, guys. Those of you wondering, I am currently in act eight, I believe. So I'm not quite in maps just yet. I'm excited though. Oh goodness, especially the, at a league start when you first, when you first make that first character, man, the grind to hurry up and get to maps as fast as possible is always there. I wonder if there's more of these, more of those chests. Oh, there are more of these chests. Oh, that is so cool. All right, hold on. Let's start from the beginning again. I'm not, I'm not trying to miss any of those type of chests. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is so juicy. Why haven't I been doing these? I'm not too worried about that. I'll give my golem out, he'll take care of it. All right. Oh, silly snakes. Was that all the chests? There, that can't be all the chests. There's no way. Oh, here we go. Oh man, this is a cool. I like the tra and it's a tier one, guys. I believe it might be tier two. Let me see. Tier two. It is a tier two. Okay. Oh, don't want to unlock that room just yet. All right, so I want to go ahead and knock out the this room. Sacrifice the unique items. So we're gonna come back to the entrance, come up to the chest full of items, and then come down. I'm so excited. <laughs> a little bit nervous because we do have the boss, but we'll see. We'll see where it leads us. Now this room contains chests full of items. So we'll take a look to see what all that entails. Look, there's a chest right there. See what kind of items they're referring to. It's just like chest pieces or, or what the heck. Oh, and we got looks like we got ourselves an architect in here too. Majestic plate, huh? I'll take a look at that. And spider sick robes, I don't need those. Yeah, I don't need that either. So I have a feeling this honestly, I think this room is just gonna be a bunch of stuff that I don't need. But we'll find out. We'll see. Watch I say that and we get like some kind of sexy drop. Uh, transmute. Ooh, okay. I didn't. Ex I didn't even think about essences appearing, but but I'm on board with those. Okay. Oh damn! Did not mean to release them. I uh, will take care of them. All right, give me give me more chests of essences. I, I can get on board with that. All right, so I'm pretty sure that was the entire room. Oh, who are you? Is he alive? Whoever that was. Oh. All right, so tombs. We're gonna go straight to the sacrificial chamber then. Because I'm pretty certain. Yeah. I was about to say, I'm pretty certain we couldn't even go over that way anyway. So, all right, let's go ahead and go to the sacrificial chamber. Looks like that that particular room, there wasn't anything in there. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that one's a, that one was a tier one. I'll look here momentarily. Yeah, this is just a tier one anyway. All right, here we go. The snakes. There's the table of sacrifice. Let's take a look, dudes. Come on, big money, big money, big money. Oh, what was that? All right, Tomb of Sacrifice, or Table of Sacrifice, Tomb. Where the hell did I get that from? All right, here we go. Boom. Driftwood Wand. Okay, so it's pretty much something completely different that you get. And you can only do it once from what it looks like. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can click it again. That's fine. All right, let's clear the rest of this out. So far, easy peasy. Oh, we do have access. Oh, that's right. We have access to every room. <laughs> I, forgot. I forgot. I was like, um, I don't think we have access. To we do. We do. But I want to clear the rest of this one first. Anytime I do like a new area, if this was like a storyline, then I'd probably just skip all the extra extra creatures that we don't need. Unless it was a map. Map, you got to clear all those too. But, um, yeah, I want 100% this. We do have minus, look at the top, minus 6% max player res. It has increased monster variety, it contains temporal incursions. Interesting. All right, so we are in a new room now. Let's see, this particular room has, uh, it looks like it's no, no special perks for this one. Now, with that being said, guys, since this particular room doesn't have special perks, that doesn't mean that's necessarily permanent. So whenever we do, uh, the regular incursions again, we have to take a look at what each architect has to offer and maybe we can actually upgrade it or not necessarily upgrade it, but change the room into something that we can, we can use like currency or another sacrifice room or something. Cause that's kind of cool. I feel like you have a real potential to get something juicy, unique wise with that. I like that, that mechanic. How are you still alive, snakes? There we go. We'll paint the happy trees. Oh, that's my guy. All right, so that room was cleared. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's take a look at the next one we're gonna hit. Looks like we're gonna hit, I cleared the treasury. And then we went back to the entrance. So we do still have this side of the spectrum to hit. We also got the Chasm. Um, I feel like we should come back and knock these two out just because they're not connected to anything else. And I don't want to get up here and then have to come all the way back and hit those two, you know what I mean? So we're gonna to come back toward the entrance to knock these two out. And then we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit the Flame Workshop, Gem Cutters, and we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna hit the next level at that point, so. All right, let's go ahead and rock these tombs. Nope, can't go that way. <coughs> and guys, by all means, let me know in the in the comments if you have any tips, suggestions, things you have found in the temples. I am I would love to hear it. I am all about that. Let me know, dudes. Actually, I can only access the chasm through this way. That's what it looks like. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this is that pack that we saw a little bit ago. You know, it might be that time, guys, where I'm gonna be getting rid of my mana flask. My little character's all grown up. You guys know what I'm talking about, that moment in time when you realize your little character no longer needs a mana flask. Is 
Oh, it's so satisfying. I was just saying that my my Twitch streams yesterday. I love Cyclone. It may not necessarily always be the most OP skill build to run, but man, let me tell you how satisfying this is. Oh, where does that? Do I have connected? Oh, I'm in the flame works. I'm not even in the chasm. Okay. We're going to come back and grab the chasm. We'll grab these two. I mean, we're already here. May as well clear this. I thought that was too easy we got there. At least I thought we got there too quick. Ooh, got an augment. All right, so we're gonna head down back this way. I know you guys are probably like, Scatoria, you need to figure out where you're going. What, what are you doing? Going room to room all over the place? I swear, guys. It's on purpose. All right, let's go ahead and hit this room up. Now these, these next two rooms, they don't have a specialization, I believe. Yeah, the chasm. Oh my, oh, what am I getting hit by? Whatever that was, it was hit pretty hard. I need to start investing into my reses again. I'm pretty low, I'm not max res at the moment. I'm that guy. This is kind of interesting room. Oh, it feels so good. We're gonna take that. I did not mean to push that button. All right, so with this room, that should be it, I believe. Yeah, that should be it. And then we have the antechamber. Why they call it the antechamber? I have no idea, but it sounds kind of intimidating. All right, let's see. Come on. <laughs> oh, to be early level. Act seven, I think is what I'm at. Somewhere around there. Ooh, a chromatic orb. I'll take it. I could probably even throw a hatred on. Oh, no, no, anger. Because I do have Avatar of Fire at the moment. Yeah, probably an anger. Or maybe a curse. I'm still kind of torn on what do I want to do with my auras. Could even throw like a haste in there. All of which have potential to be super satisfying. Ooh, where'd this pack go come from? <coughs> and yes, guys, those of you who are wondering, I am planning on going Elemental Overlord with this character. That way I'm not investing anything really in crit multiplier. Um, hell, not even a whole lot in the chance. I'm kind of torn between whether or not I want to take the wheel. Because hitting around 12% at the moment crit and i haven't even taken the wheel yet um especially with a cyclone build it's not too not too shabby i believe i should be critting enough to where i can sustain because with elemental overlord you get it what once every eight seconds uh or you plus 40 40 percent damage or elemental damage if you um crit in the last eight seconds so i feel, feel like hitting my attack rate right now is around 7.5 i think close to eight and um yeah, I think I feel like with a hit rate like that, I should be able to to sustain. 
What am I doing here? Alright. Yeah, we gotta go back down. Oh, wait a second. Can I go this way? That would be convenient. No. Alright, we gotta go around. Now, guys, this is also one of the perks of getting all of those passage stones. Because these all room, all these rooms can, in fact, connect. You just need to get the passage stones in order to connect them whenever you go back in time. So when I was doing it, I was mainly just focusing on at least unlocking them all. So that way I can do all the rooms in one fell swoop. That was the prime you know, objective originally. And then now it'll probably go into... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, quality of life. Oh god, what is that? Damn, I don't know what the hell that was, but... That was hitting pretty hard. Alright, so we came into... Alright, so we're going into the gem cutter's room. So I'm hoping to get some super cool gems. Alright, we've done... No, no, we haven't done this one because we haven't even done this one yet. So we got the flame done. We'll hit, we'll hit this one, this one, then we'll come back for the jewelry and lead right into the boss. That's what we'll do. Because the jewelry one, I'm super excited about, and I want to save that one for last before going into the boss. Although interestingly enough, I don't know if I've seen any of the chests for this area yet. Have you guys? Where are the chests? Or is it just one big chest? I guess we'll find out. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Val Blade Vortex Superior Summon Lightning Golem. Oh, I can take it. can use that one. Storm Call. Speaking of Lightning Golem, where's mine? There we go. What are you doing over there, little buddy? We got another one of those? Ooh, Architect. All right, so it looks as though in this particular area, this is a level, a tier one. This is a tier one room. Um, it looks as though we just had the one, essentially, chest that we were able to get some gems out of. That wasn't as satisfying. That was not as satisfying as I thought it would be. All right, the flame workshop. So it looks like these are the two entrances to the last two rooms before we go into our actual final room. Now, these next two rooms, or including the one I'm in right now, um, I believe there's no really perks we're going to get from them. It's not like jewels or... Oh, this dude's laying some... Some jewelry I could use. I've been needing a good two stone. We'll see. All right. Ooh, got him. Not today, bad guys. We're well, getting some pretty good currency, I've noticed, through this whole run so far. I'm digging it. All right, so, yeah, this doesn't... And then the cloister isn't going to give anything either. So once we do the, uh, the past stuff again, we'll go ahead and try and convert those rooms. I'm actually kind of curious, once we beat this this particular temple, I'm kind of curious as to whether or not you actually keep running the same one, you continue upgrading it and stuff, or does it does it start a whole new temple series? That would be kind of interesting, wouldn't it, guys? Oh, I need some movement speed. Hey, what are you doing over there? Ooh. Alright, so it looks like the cloister room 
is just a useless room. But when I'm gathering at the moment. Alright. <coughs> Alright, time to go to the final room. Which I believe... Corruption Chamber... Yeah, we'll take this route. All right, here we go, dudes. The last room before going into the boss, the apex. I'm excited. A little bit nervous. Oh, I'm frozen. That dude's packing a little bit of a punch, isn't he? So far, so good. Oh, look at all these troves. Ooh. Oh, dang, look at that room. All right, so let's head back this way. Damn it. Of course there's snakes. Do you guys ever have those endless feed of enemies come in whenever you're trying to do things all right gem jewelry i mean Ooh, rapture grip determination has 20 percent increased the area of oh that's interesting spell damage fire damage oh shoot coal ring of the cloud crit lightning res oh you know what we're just gonna go take it i know it's magic item but i just want to take off the jewelry if anything, I could probably sell it. Because from what it looks like... Oh, okay, I was about to say, they look pretty identified. The ones who are... The magic items that are identified will take. Ooh. 49 life. Oh, here's that belt! 39 life plus 49 life. That's pretty much all I could really use in the res, maybe. Dragon Snare. Amethyst. Vault. Oh, what was that vault? Hold on. Wrath has increased area aura effect. Okay, never mind. I thought that was like a vault perk. Like if you're if you're raiding a vault, you get some kind of sexy gear or something. This is by far probably my favorite room so far. Well. Oh, that's a tough call. The currency one was pretty cool, too. But you know what? We'll go with this room as my favorite. So far, I feel like there's more chests. And it's kind of exciting getting new items. I don't know about you guys. But for me, I always think it's kind of exciting. And is this a... Oh, it's a tier 2 also. Alright, so here we go, boys. Going into the apex. I'm actually a little bit nervous going into the arena here go ahead and take our golem out Whew. let's do it just get in there swinging all right so here's the boss oh he's hitting hard what's going on here oh that's fire can i still hit him no probably not oh he's getting energy shield from that I see what you're doing, you little man thing. Boom. Got him. And I got a quartz flask. Nice. Let's go ahead and take that. Oh, I don't have the room, do I? 
Okay, what are we gonna get rid of? We'll get rid of that. We don't need that nonsense. All right, so this looks like it's one of the new Incursion League items. Take a look at it real quick. So it's a Soul Catcher. 10% chance to dodge, attack, and spells, pits, phasing. Um, can I gain mana during the effect? Interesting. Val skills deal 89% increased damage during the effect. Val skills have 25% reduced soul cost during the effect. Um, Val skills used during effect have 39% reduced soul gain prevention duration. Interesting. So, like with mine, I actually run a Val Cyclone, as you can see down here. I wonder if, as I, like, I would click the flask and then click the Val Cyclone, use it while he's spinning, so that way, once the duration's over, then I can, I imagine I can gain, yeah, gain mana again. Um, and it only lasts four seconds, so yeah, that, that, that's actually pretty valuable. I actually might put that in my, my arsenal for, for bosses. Um, is there anything else here? 40% increased crit chance. Socketed chaos, fire damage, chaos damage, crit strike multiplier, increased poison. Or damn, that's actually a really juicy dagger. Wand, fizz, chaos damage adds 24 to 57 chaos, 14% increased attack speed, 5% increased cast speed, crit chance for spells. Uh, socketed cold gems, cold damage, attack 15 15% attack speed. Nice. Tiger Sword. I want to see what this one is. Why wouldn't it identify that one? That doesn't make any sense. Looks like I have too many other stuff to really worry about that. We'll grab this last, though. Alright. So, apparently that's it. Let's go back and see what, what we got going on here. And yeah, so I can actually dump items and come back and, and I imagine go back through there. All right. So, appreciate you guys for tuning in. That was that was actually pretty awesome. All right. That, that guys, don't mind my transition thing. It's been kind of buggy recently. So, appreciate y'all for hanging out tonight. That was actually a lot of fun. That was my first time going through all of the different rooms and actually fighting the boss at the Apex. That was actually a lot easier than I expected. And I, did, I feel like I got some pretty cool items. I'm going to kind of go into them a little bit more and kind of evaluate them and, and see how they actually do for my character. Um, but if you haven't already, guys, follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash to see live coverage, live stream coverage of this game. I do play this, and I do play some other games here and there, but this is my main one so far. Um, on Twitter, at Clash Scottoria, you can see whenever I go live, whenever I post new YouTube videos, or I post, I don't know, pics of my, my dogs, my cat, my tacos, or pizza i don't know <laughs> if you haven't already guys make sure you hit subscribe down below and hit that like button if you enjoy the video and discord.gg slash the kill squad all one word you're more than welcome to hop in the server and chit chat with us uh, we've got some super knowledgeable players in there that play path of exile as well as those various other games um so yeah i appreciate you guys for tuning in and i'll see you again very soon